got ya! Yeah! Here we go, baby! <laughs> Driving down. Driving down the country road. Oh, it's like the music's slightly fading out. Wait, can we go? Go down this way? Oh, it's getting narrower and narrower. Narrower and narrower. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This has just turned that. Orange man! Is it orange man? Is it aubergine man? So maybe day shift at Freddy's was true, you know? What in the name? Leave him alone tonight. He had a rough day. Oh my god, this got very depressing very quickly. What is this? Hang on, can we go left and right? No, we just. I told you not to close your door. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Okay, can we get out of here then? Just go drive, like, jump off a cliff somewhere, or... I mean, we look like we're... We... We... We want to die, to be fair. Look at us. Open the door. Is this, like, about an abusive, like, father or something? Okay. Find a way in from the outside. Really? Balls. This guy's very abusive, isn't he? God, how big's this house? Jesus. Oh, it's a broken window, of course. We're getting through here. We can't get through the broken window? There's someone hiding in the trash. Okay, so it's got to be something to do with that broken window then. What the hell is this? There's an anim Look, there's animatronic prints here. Oh, do I follow the, the footprints? Ran off to that place again. He'll be sorry when he gets back. What the? Come on. More like it. Although now I have to go all the way back round. Really? There we go. Let's go up and make our way down. Come on, give me that. Give me that. So, come on! Oh, boy, bag. So, what do I do now? Oh, give me that. Oh, hang on, there's more. More! Yes! Ah! Oh. oh, love it! Oh, bloody don't it! Oh, God! So now, exactly, I know, guys, it's incredible. Come on. Yes! Done it again! Bloody heck! I've got one token left as well. And that is all I need. And here we go. So now, flowers. Uh, and if you look carefully, when the time gets extended, you can see a little thing. Oh, dearie me. Okay, that's a little glitch. Perfect. 
Okay. Okay. Give me all of the dead guys. Thank you very much. Jam. So I can kind of see where I've been and where I haven't been. So we go up this way. Okay, the time is a bit. see someone's someone inside the suit look he's not really dead he's over here follow me right so now here's my theory on what that means um basically uh that, i think that's going back to fred bear's family diner where the kid, you see the kid crying outside of the establishment because she thinks her dog's dead. Uh, he says, oh no, the dog's not dead, come with me. Kills the child. And that child becomes the puppet baby. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Now I will tell you a story about a young woman who was sealed in a small room. In the room was a furnace, and five keys. She was told that each of the five keys would unlock one of five doors outside her room. Inside each room was a child that she could take with her as she fled the building. But she was only allowed to leave her own room with one key, not all five. Desperate to find a way to save all five children, the woman melted the five keys together in the furnace to create a single key, hoping it would unlock all five doors. Of course, it did not work that way. Now her key opened none of the doors. Rather than leaving her room with a key to one life, she had taken with her the key to five deaths. <laughs> okay. Save the child! Can't do that. Do we go outside? I think this, you get this at the end of night five or night six. You played right into our hands. Did you really think that this job just fell out of the sky for you? No. This was a gift for us. You gathered them all together in one place. Just like he asked you to. All of those little souls in one place. Just for us, a gift. Now we can do what we were created to do and be complete. 
I will make you proud, Daddy. Watch, listen, and be full. This is, Connection this is terminated. Right, by the way. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift. Nor have you been called here by the individual you assume. Although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here. Into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit. A maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still, and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I knew it! I couldn't save I you I freaking then. knew it! So let me save you now. It's time to rest. For you, and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends, for all of us, in communication. Congratulations on completing your work week. We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us. That's the end. That's literally the end of FNAF right there. and Freggy. My God. So basically what happened was, right, the first thing we see, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, was completely true. So that uh, little mini game of the little girl running around, um, I think her name was Elizabeth. <laughs> his little, his two kids there. Look, Ian Corfin, Braden Corfin. That's cool. This game is dedicated to the fans. It's been a pleasure making games for you. Oh man. But yeah, um, uh, something must have happened with her dog where she thought it was dead, and obviously William Afton or one of the guys, one of the um. I don't know who it was, the killer, purple guy, kills her. She then goes on to become the puppet and um, gives life to the other animatronics and the other kids that were killed. And there we go.